why I prefer to be incognito. So, do you know what is incognito? Most of us know what does incognito mean, but do you know what it really means? It means not allowing to know your true identity. Incognito can be applied in many ways and types. Let me get this clear with an example. Let's suppose, you need to search something on Google that you should not search for, on this case, you might prefer to open a separate incognito window, so, you can be private. Many users forget that they are not really private, because your browsing might be visible for the internet provider, or to the admins of the sites you visit, which means when you use social media website on incognito to do something private, it may not be seen by internet provider but it can be seen by the respective admins of the sites. You should know that incognito doesn't make you anonymous. But it's critical to understand that using incognito mode doesn't make you anonymous. It's not a sort of superpower of online invisibility. It won't stop your internet service provider, ISP, or employer from tracking your web activities. So it's confirmed that any stupid things done on incognito can be caught very easily. I am not concluding that using incognito is useless. Even I use incognito in my daily life. There are many uses of it. Now, I am going to tell the three most important uses of incognito that everyone should know. First reason is it deletes cookies. Cookies are mainly used to create a free user-friendly environment and relevant browsing session for the user. But the sad part of this is whenever a person tracks your cookies he can build a detailed profile of your online habits and then use this information to send you targeted ads. Let me tell you a funny example for this. It is your dad's birthday, you want to buy him the best present for him on online. As an intelligent user, you might search the same product on different types of websites. What happens here is, these cookies track your searches and saves them. When your dad opens the computer, he notices several ads on the browser's webpage related to your gift. Sadly, the surprise birthday gift for your dad, is failed. What incognito does here, it will delete these cookies when you log out, keeping your personal preferences, private. The second reason is it deletes the browsing history. Let me tell you an example for this, whenever you use another computer to log into your social media, or to check your emails, the computer definitely stores the entire history, and in some cases the computer also save passwords, without your knowing, then later, the next person who uses the computer can even get access to your browsing history, and the account details in which you had logged in. Here, when you use incognito, it erases any temporary browsing information and your login details as soon as you close the browser. So the third reason I use incognito is, multiple sessions. This is my favorite one. Generally I had two Google accounts, one is work account and another is personal account. I can manage the both accounts simultaneously, because I can use my work account on normal window and I can use my personal account on incognito window. So I can switch and use both of my accounts at same time according to my comfort. If you are a content creator, you can use this feature very much. For example, you just made some changes to your website. With this incognito feature you can test or view the site on live without other device. I am not concluding that incognito is the safest way of browsing on internet. Everything has its own loopholes. So that's the video. I will try to make a part 2 video about the internet safety. Please read the full video's description to know much info. Till then, please like the video and share it, because everyone will have a good use of the video. This video took me two whole days. You can also follow me on Instagram for more updates. So please subscribe to my channel, Technical Vishnu, and tap the bell icon so you will never miss another update. See you next time, goodbye.